My name is Pete Muller. I'm a photographer that's between African assignments. Most people that um, don't know anything or are not really familiar with the circumstances in northern Uganda would know only uh, that the Lord's Resistance Army was, was active there for about 20 years um, and they were, they were sort of put on the map because they were a pretty unusually cruel uh, rebel movement. There is, to, to be cliche, a banality about some of this conflict. You expect that life is going to be sort of on hold while a war is taking place and you find that, you know, People don't have any time to, to put their lives on hold. You just move forward regardless of circumstance. This picture's on your uh, website. Why, why do you like this one so much? I feel like this picture kind of really gets it, ultimately what I think the situation is uh, in Northern Uganda, which I, I kind of, I, maybe I project a lot onto this picture, but in a lot of ways I kind of feel like you have this really tumultuous past and I've kind of imposed it on the picture by this side of the building which has been battered or unfinished and the cloud cover here is kind of tumultuous and, and looks a little rugged and this woman which looks pretty fairly anonymous um, kind of representative of most people in northern Uganda is passing into this area that looks more developed uh, and in better condition than, than the left side of the building. But it's also really kind of strange in a lot of ways. Uh, these two white-faced mannequins in Victorian dresses, I think, kind of gets at some of the oddities and developmental challenges that, that still exist outside of the, outside of the war. travel bags that um, you, know, you can fit all your stuff in. This is a Canon 1D that I actually do, I'm, all the stuff that I shot in Uganda I shot on this, which is a bit of a beast. Um, I actually used to put this 24 to 70 millimeter lens on it and those, those two things combined was really makes it quite a heavy and cumbersome piece of, uh, of equipment. looks very good. He's been working very, very hard uh, on the show and he uh, is going back to Africa. He's going to the Sudan for a year and it looks like this show is a very good foundation for future work in Africa.